It's so hard to stay on top of the world When the world keeps telling you who you should be All these people telling you what you need Oh, darling, only you can say Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and Will. Yeah, I'm Will, my boyfriend. <laughs> it's a pretty crazy thing being here. We're on our way up to the big cabin in Pigeon Forge. We're stopping to get something to eat. I know it'll come to a shock to you that we've ended up with Buffalo Wild Wings. It is crazy. But we're on our way, like he said, to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we're staying in the Grand Lacan, and I'll be giving you more information about that later on in the vlog, but this is going to be a big travel vlog. We are staying from Monday, which is today, to Saturday evening, and we are so excited. We have never gone on this long of a vacation before together. It's going to be pretty awesome, honestly, because it's like the longest vacation and probably the nicest vacation we've ever gone on. No, definitely. So it'll be nice to for experience sure. it together. Yeah, so we're going to be bringing you along for all of the stuff we do. And yeah, we are now already in Tennessee. We just decided to kind of update you like kind of halfway through our... You're the only 10 I see. <laughs> halfway through our journey to Tennessee and yeah now we're stopping to get some wings and thankfully Will actually turned the car around because I was like I know what I want for lunch I want wings and this man turned around the car and drove 30 minutes the opposite direction to go get me wings so thank well, you for that you know there's few things I will turn around for but wings is one of them of the wild wings for sure so we're gonna be walking up in here and grubbing down on some lunch <laughs> How far away? Hour and a half. I got an hour, 15, something like that. So not that bad. We're getting very, very close. We just stopped to get some gas though, and we're excited. I'm super excited. <laughs> evening guys we have been in pigeon forge for several hours now and we have had such a great trip so far we decided not to vlog a lot of tonight because we got here and we had a meeting with the people who own this place and then we went to go grocery shopping and then we made dinner we had like a heat up pizza act like we made dinner and i we mean put it, in the was, oven. it was it was a nice little margarita pizza it was good it was um, a good pizza but i mean we got here probably like right around 7 38 and then so i mean it was just already a late night but i mean it is spectacular i, I mean, mean i can't even tell you how amazing this place is y'all are gonna see for sure yeah it's insane we're going to be doing a tour tomorrow we decided um but we are just spending the night in our little bed and we're going to be giving you a tour of like the rooms and everything but we're literally staying in the largest cabin in north america there's, or america there's 21 rooms it's ridiculous insane like there's an arcade downstairs there's a movie theater hot we, tub yeah Yes, that's where we've been most of the Pretty night much. is the hot tub. But we are about to be sitting down and watching The Secret Life of the American Teenager. We are almost through with season two. And props to him for finding this show. You've already watched this show? Yeah, I watched it when I was a little kid. Okay. Well, I've never watched it, so I like it. But we both just got in a shower and got ready for bed. And I had a horrible spray tan. She had the best spray. Look, it's okay <laughs> because I guess the daughter of the people who owns this, who kind of runs the show a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you know, she works at the spray tan place. So we're yeah, hook or no. yeah. So she was like, tan. "If you want to treat yourself, day, we can get you like a blowout and give you a spray tan." I was like, "Yes, like literally." We're just living our best life for this week we because are. this is I can't even imagine a better vacation. No, honestly, we were talking about that. We were like, we've never had a vacation like this, so it's so nice. This is like my summer vacation, your summer vacation because you got to get off of work. So yeah, we're truly blessed to be here. But it is late. It is one fifteen in the morning. So I guess I've made it today too. <laughs> so we will be seeing you tomorrow morning.
Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. Will and I decided to sleep in a little bit. He is actually still sleeping in. Like I've said before, we have not had like this nice of a vacation, and especially lately, we have been like running ourselves very, very thin where we have not been getting a lot of sleep. We have been working nonstop. So he has not been able to sleep in because he literally has been working and doing things seven days a week, and he has to wake up at 7 a.m. So I'm just letting him sleep for really as long as he wants. It is now 11. I've been up since about 10, so I've just been kind of doing things around the cabin, cleaning up from last night. Whenever we went grocery shopping yesterday, I was like, I know I'm going to be wanting some coffee every morning. So I made myself some coffee from these nice Keurigs inside. But that was just a little update of where we are. Good morning, and I'm going to be planning some things and working, and I'll see you a little bit later. Will came out and I put him to work to help me edit a video. So we're teaching him how to do this. It's, a, it's very fun. Uh, <laughs> your hair right now? Is it fluffy? Yeah, your morning hair. But I'm about to get in the shower and he's gonna sit out here and help me do this. I'm being my little worker man. Um, we're going to the Bullfish Grill. I really mainly because there's a big metal statue outside of it with a bull and a fish in his mouth. Also, we, we got really distracted looking at all these like putt putt parts and go karts and stuff like that. So, really, just we're kind of overwhelmed. And you know, Bullfish Grill is where we landed. <laughs> So we're going to be giving you a tour of our beautiful place that we're staying this week. We are staying at the Grand LeConte Lodge and we are so, so blessed to have this opportunity and vlog for you guys and share with you like these beautiful amenities that they have in this beautiful cabin. So this cabin is very modern. It doesn't look like your ordinary cabin and some like outdated cabins, which is really, really nice that this is here in Pigeon Forge. Will and I are so excited to be spending the week here and sharing with you our experience and the experience that you can have as well. Any information that I can give you, I'll be leaving down in the description box below as well as a link to this place and different cabins that you can stay in obviously this is a huge cabin to stay in just for two people so they do have different cabins for smaller families smaller get-togethers anything like that but we're going to be going through and showing you the three floors of this beautiful cabin so this is the nation's largest rental cabin which is absolutely insane that will and i get to stay here also this cabin is 20,000 square feet and it has 21 bedrooms so ginormous we are going to go right in and share with you where we're staying for the week okay so props to will for filming this and being my video man but this is kind of like the back entrance so this is where like the parking lot is and this is where we parked remy my car and it has like this really cute seating area over here so we're going to be walking right in and as you can see right when you walk in you have this ginormous living area living space okay so this is the kitchen how magnificent is this i'm obsessed it looks so so cute I cannot wait to spend my mornings in here making my coffee. Okay, so they also have these large refrigerators, which is really, really nice, especially if you have a large group, but absolutely insane, big. We obviously have some of our groceries in here that we got. And then one of my favorite things about this place is their ice machine. I love the crunchy ice and they have the crunchy ice. So right here, boom. Look at that beautiful ice right there. This is actually the first floor. So this is the closest obviously to the ground. It has another really nice seating area. I really like this like swinging bench thing. Literally, I could sleep on this. I've always wanted one of these, so it's really cool to have this in the cabin. It also has like a little mini kitchen over here with a full-size refrigerator. They have like an oven, everything like that. So it's really cool because down here, I feel like if you stayed, you would have kids probably, or like you would have get together. So it's really nice, that like if you're chilling at the pool, the hot tub, balcony, anything like that, you can make pizza or make whatever you wanna do. Cocktails, that's what I'd be doing every night, you know? Okay, so then we have the indoor pool. It's so, so fun here. Okay, so this pool is so fun. We got some of our own floats to be floating in. I mean, it is a ginormous pool and it's so nice to have it. Like, I guess for yourself and then by yourself, like whoever you break this habit out with, I think it's really cool. I love myself a pool, so. This is one of my favorite parts about it here. And then as you lead into here, they have a laundry room, they have a men's and women's bathroom. But look at this arcade and gaming area. This is all ours for the week and I think it's so fun. Will has been loving playing Miss Pac-Man on here. Um, and I have been loving being a driver. 
I mean, this is so, so cool. You don't have to pay money for it. You can just play as many times as you want, which is really cool. They also have a pool table, which I will be beating Will and pool. Y'all just watch. It's going to happen. But yeah, it's really, really nice. They have a bunch of different things that you can be playing. I mean, this is a great spot, like, to have, like, family reunions, get-togethers, bachelorette weekends. Like, could you imagine, like, you and, like, all your close friends in here? It's absolutely amazing. Um, so then over here, this is the cinema. Yes, they have a movie theater basically in here. So how beautiful is this setup? It looks just like the movie theater. So this theater seats over 50 people and it's really nice. It is also wheelchair accessible, which is really nice. You can obviously just pull it up right here. They also have like a nice podium. So like if you're doing this like for your work and you're waiting it out, you need to do presentations. You have this podium to talk to your friends or coworkers, whatever. So these seats are super duper comfy. Obviously Obviously, these little cup holders move down and like you can switch it around. This is so, so nice. I know that Will and I are going to be spending our movie nights in here. All right, so now there is a balcony on the second floor, like the main floor we kind of started on. It is very similar to this one, but this one leads out to the hot tub. Okay, so the hot tubs are over here. There are two different hot tubs. So how nice is this to be able just to relax in your hot tub? This is the perfect time for us to come because it got cold at night where we could enjoy the hot tub. But also like if you want to stay here like over Christmas, New Year's Eve, winter type of occasions, how nice is this? And it like overlooks the mountains. So you have this beautiful background while you're enjoying the hot tub. This is where Will and I will be staying most of our trips. Okay, so like I said about the bachelorette weekends, obviously you can have like a bride and groom party, have all of your friends and family here, but it's also really nice to have a wedding here. They have this really pretty gazebo right here, I guess like a little awning place. Absolutely gorgeous. We've already gotten so many pictures right here, but obviously like can't you imagine like all these little chairs right here getting ready for a wedding. Someone actually has already gotten married here. I think it was like the second people to stay here. So obviously this is a great place to get married. You're in the Smoky Mountains, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. They have so many things to do. And obviously like you can get married right where you're staying. The groomsmen can stay on one floor. The bridesmaids can stay on one floor. Obviously there's so many bedrooms. You can definitely have everyone stay in one central location and have all of these amazing things for everyone to enjoy. So that was a little tour of where we're staying for the week. We're so, so excited to bring you along for everything that we have going. We are so, so thankful to be able to stay in this beautiful place and let you see a little glimpse of our vacation and what we get to do. They have also planned for us so many amazing things like dinner shows, different attractions, museums, different hiking. And so we're so, so excited to bring you along and give you kind of like our own personal tour of staying in this part of Tennessee. Guys, we just got done at lunch and it was so yummy. It was really good. I mean, it was so good. I'm really... Yeah, bullfish. Really good. Bullfish. So check it out if y'all ever come up here. Now we are at Legacy Mountain Ziplines and Lauren is super stoked about it. Not <laughs> nervous at all. Just super pumped to jump on that zipline and go. She's not nervous, I promise. Y'all, I've been on one zipline in my life and it might have been like 20 feet. She's petrified. I'm like so scared. We've been sitting in the car and like I'm having like my chest is tight. I'm just like... I mean, she was gripping the rails of her car, like, when I acted like I was getting out of the car. She was like, I need five minutes. Yes, I need, got, I need I've to I've update the vlog. I need to grab a scrunchie. Like, I need to, you know. It's going to be okay. Yeah, it is. I don't know when this is going to go. Yeah. But yeah, we get to go zip on here. It's going to be really fun. I'm probably not going to vlog anything. I'll probably make Will do something on his phone, perhaps. I'm going to catch her live in action, going down the zip line, screaming at the top of her lungs. Name, I have to be calm, cool, and collected. Calm, cool, and collected. That's oh, the more Norse way. Okay, so I'm now a, like, professional. She's a zip line professional. She conquered her fear. She went down a good bit of zip lines. One was, like, a half a mile long and 600 feet high up in the air. Unfortunately, they wouldn't let us bring our phones. Yeah, or a camera or anything. We are like, That was kind of okay. whack. I kind of understand it because, I mean, there was kind of so many instructions that you might get a little distracted if you're on your phone or something. Yeah, that they, is true. Or they took our picture, though, so, I mean, she'll probably show you that. Yes! They took our picture, and it was really cute. And then we also got some free t-shirts. It's so cute. It has a little bear, and the bear is zip lining. There's the bear. And then I convinced Will to get a matching one. Yeah, so we can be twinning. We can be that couple, you know? No, I was just saying, so I won't steal yours. Like, I'll be like, oh, I have this already. You think you know? that's going to stop? Yes, it is. Thank you 
Legacy Mountains and Pines. It was so, so much fun to be able to go out there and just like spend a beautiful day out there. It was a little cloudy. It was some crazy views. I mean, like, it was amazing. I it mean, was like, I wish I could have filmed it. It's hard yeah. to describe. It was like over like a bunch of mountains. Like, it was just beautiful. But now we are wanting to stay in our outdoorsy clothes, obviously. And so we are about to be doing some go karting real Nothing quick. You can probably hear them driving past now. Yes, we're going to extreme racing. Yeah, I don't really know. But we're going here to do it, and we're really excited to go kart. We're going to see if we can film here. I'm sure you can with your phone. <laughs> I'll try my best. Update, I won in go karting. Did you? Well, I won one game and he won the other game. So basically, I won because he also broke my pop sockets. That would make you the loser. Anyways, we're not going to We're going to play putt-putt now. And I guess at some point, we'll find some other go karts and, find, and finally settle. Yeah, today. Today? Today. Okay. Rematch today. But we're going to Lost Treasure Golf. To play some putt putt. There's a fountain. Okay, look, it looks so cute. So yeah, we're gonna play some putt putt. Look at the train. And I'm gonna try and find another pop socket. Okay, update. We're not going to the putt putt that we thought we were. We're going to Smoky Fantasy Mountain Golf. Fantasy Golf because they had too long of a wait at the other one because they had like big like party groups. So we're just going to be doing it here. And Will is wanting me to go on some slingshot. The thing that. Man, she jump in the air. She being a weenie. Okay, well, we just did the slingshot. The, the thing. I mean, I mean, it was fantastic. This little boy over here loves adventurous stuff. And I'm like, what if you get scared? You know, like I need to be there. People who, you know, if you've been to Six Flags or any type of amusement park, you know what the slingshot is. Basically slingshots you up in the air. Fantastic ride. It was crazy. It was just a crazy time. And I told him though, cause I'm like, look, I'm dressed athletically. Let's go ahead and do everything that we want to do like outside where, where we don't have to be dressed like super duper cute. So we are now going to Smoky Mountain Coaster or something. And it's like a big roller coaster that we're going to go on. And then I think we're going to, we're near our cabin right now. Yeah, we're really close. Um, so I think after this, we're just going to drive back to our cabin and get ready for dinner. Um, but it's getting kind of late. It's 8.15, but we've just been, you know, going Dangerous. around. There's so much stuff to do here. It really is. Like crazy. I mean, we just went out for lunch and then we've just done wraps up all day. Yeah, we literally have. So that is what we're doing. It's been fun. <laughs> Day two has been a success. Okay, correction. It's Rocky Top Mountain Coaster is where we're going. And it seems pretty fun. What's up? We are now going to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and we both wore pink on accident. Well, I wore pink on purpose. I wore pink on purpose too. It just happened that we both decided to do it on the same night. But it's okay. <laughs> Good morning. We have made it to our breakfast place, which is the brick and spoon. Um, I'm so tired. Yesterday was so eventful. It really was. And we even passed an even better ride that Laura is so stoked to go on. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He's lying. He's lying. Okay, but yeah, we're about to go in here and eat some breakfast and try and refuel ourselves to start the day. Yay. It's so hard to stay on top of the world when the world keeps telling you who you should be. Brunch was so good. It was fantastic. It was so yummy. I 10 out of 10. Remember, I go to the brick and spoon to come here. <laughs> Phenomenal Bloody Marys. Yeah, the mimosa tree was really good, but the classic was the best. Mean. I mean, it was so good. So now it is like noon and we are going shopping today. We were going to go to a museum, but we haven't gotten the tickets yet. And we're like, you know what? We're just going to chill for a little bit. So yeah, he found a Lululemon pop-up store and I'm like, oh, what a coinky dink. Norm happens to, you know, like Lululemon just a little bit. Just a tad. So we're going to go uh, check out what's in there and probably going to get her some stuff. Perhaps. But I mean, we're at the Tanger yeah. Outlets um, here and there's so many shops. It's crazy. So we're going to bring you along for our little shopping adventure. I don't know where we're going into, but we're just going to walk around and see what we can find and, you know, get some goodies. <laughs> Good 
evening vlog. We are going to get a spray tan, or I'm going to get a spray tan at Speed of Light Tan in Sevierville. They have offered to you do a spray tan for me, so I'm super excited to go there. And honestly, today we've kind of had a chill day, kind of not. We went to breakfast this morning at Brick and Spoon, and we Phenomenal. came. Phenomenal. Oh, like I said, so good. Mary. We did some shopping. We got boy here some shorts, some summer shorts, and then I got so tired. So we came back here. We did some laundry. We cleaned up a little bit, and then our photographers came, and they were amazing. They got some shots around the house for us, and like in the hot tub in the pool. And we're really excited to see them. They're gonna turn out really cute. And then after that, I we went to the hot tub again. Like yeah. we basically stayed in there. Yeah, we just stayed in the hot tub. Then we went to the pool, back to the hot tub, and we got all showered up. You know, ready to go to her spray tan while she does that. I'm probably gonna go pick us up some food because we're pretty tired. So we're probably just gonna take it easy tonight and pick something up and just eat it. Yeah. At the house. And then, uh, maybe watch a movie and go to bed. Yep. <laughs> we have made it to Speed of Light Tan. Will is dropping me off to go get dinner while I'm doing this. And I'm hoping that they like do it quickly because TJ Maxx is right around the corner and I'm like really wanting to go. So how are you eating home? Will! <laughs> Welcome back. We just got some takeout dinner. We're getting food from Nao Japanese restaurant. So basically like hibachi. And we just got back and it looks so good. Props to Will for finding all of this and getting it for us. It looks so good. We're about to be chowing down and eating our dinner. Good morning, happy Thursday. Will and I are having a little spa day at Wonderless Salon and Spa. I am getting a blowout treatment done on my hair and Will is getting a therapeutic massage. We are so excited to be treating ourselves today and have I'm a little really spa excited. day. And then my tan is looking good. In the sun, it looks good. We've been in the room like getting ready, but like it looks really, really good. You really impressive. Your tan. Yeah. <laughs> but now we are going to the Apple Barn for breakfast. Yes, Apple Barn for breakfast and then get my massage on. I know. He's so excited about this massage. He was like, oh, this is going to be nice. But yeah, we're about to be heading out. Outfit of the day. Outfits. Look at how precious he looks. Will, I mean, you look so cute. Okay, so we made it to our breakfast spot for the morning. This is so cute. It looks like little country. Little country. Little country. <laughs> We have made it to Wonderlust Salon and Spa for my blowout and his little massage. Aren't you so excited about your massage? I'm super excited. But yeah, we're going in, paying for ourselves, and we'll see you a little bit later. I keep hearing something in the wind. I keep coming back to you, my friend. Think I'm feeling something new again. Never going back, just take my hand. You know what we found, a Starbies. <laughs> so we got our Starbies, but I was like, are you hungry for something? And he was like, yeah, I mean, I could eat something. Well, little boy over here has been eyeing this diner since we drove into Pigeon Forge. It's adorable, reminds me of like the 50s. It's really cute. So we're eating at this cute little diner right here. I don't know the name of it just yet, but it looks really cute. And it just cracked me up when he pulled in here. I was like, are we going to the diner? He was like, yeah, we are. <laughs> I mean, only got a limited time here. We got to eat at the diner. Obviously. decided to come to go-karts again. It's a different place this time. We were kind of intrigued because we saw double carts, so then we're gonna ride together. We love go-karting, y'all, so. We do, we really do. But yeah, we're at the track, Kids seems, Country. Seems pretty slow, but um, you yeah, know, we'll but deal with it. Yeah, I think if we drive together, it'll be fun, so. Yeah, yeah.
So we just made it back to our cabin from the Dolly Parton Stampede and it was so much fun. That had to be like probably my favorite thing that we've done here so far. Right now, I can't find Will. He's somewhere in this cabin. I think he's downstairs. I think I heard him downstairs. We normally play Marco Polo to find each other in here, but we are about to be heading to a place called the Island, I believe. And they have like a Ferris wheel. They have some games and some roller coaster-ish type rides that we can go on. So we are definitely down for that. And we wanted to go, I think yesterday during the day, but we just couldn't figure out like a time to go. So we just decided to go this evening because apparently we've been hearing that it's better at nighttime also. So we believe it because the Ferris wheel lights up beautifully at night. So I just changed into some loungewear because the outfit that I had on just wouldn't be good for like roller coasters and things. But the outfit that I wore to the Dolly Stampede is from Pink and Proper Boutique here and it is absolutely amazing. I'll be linking their Instagram and everything down below. Also, I am making a blog post about like your ultimate guide to visiting this part of Tennessee. I love reading those things whenever I'm going to go travel and visit new places and I really want to start blogging more. So that is going to be up on my blog very soon. It is called the Whimsy Magnolia and yeah, there was a cute little squirrel. Sorry. Hard to explain it, my heart is racing And I can't take it anymore I just want you around me, kissing me softly Will and I are heading down to the hot tub right now. I think he's actually already down there. I decided to go ahead and change into my bathing suit. I also unwrapped this disposable waterproof camera. I have been <laughs> loving disposable cameras. I feel like they recently got back in like style, I guess. And I found this in a Target and it is completely like, waterproof, I'm supposing. At least that's what it's saying. So we are going to be bringing it down to the hot tub to get some like selfies of us and everything so we can look through it. I don't want to like develop these until the end of summer just because I want to like relive summer I guess like whenever school's about to start and I'm about to be um, like going through rush with all the girls like the active members and everything so I am like collecting these so if you know of like a place to get them like cheaper let me know because I've just been buying them from like Target. Anywho just put my hair up. We just got back from the island so the island was actually really really cute. We stopped and got some like cocktails at the end of it. We decided just to go on like the Ferris wheel. They didn't really have any like rides for adults like it was mostly for children, which we didn't realize when we were going there, but really, really cute. Definitely we go back. They had a bunch of fun little like stores to walk into. I personally liked the, I think it was like the sneaky squirrel or like something like that. I love squirrels. Squirrels are my favorite animal. So I got like this like squirrel figurine and I'm so excited to put it on my desk when I get home. Anyways, we are heading down to the hot tub um, and taking some pictures. And I did want to vlog a little bit too, because I haven't brought my camera down that much, like downstairs, like when we were in the hot tub, because did I tell tell y'all that I dropped my phone in the hot tub. First, Will broke my pop socket off. Okay, but then I dropped my phone in the hot tub. So I've been very careful. <laughs> and I'm like, I do not want to drop my camera in the hot tub either. But I'm about to be putting our towels in the dryer to heat them up a little bit. So whenever we get out of the hot tub and we come back in this cold cabin that we have kept pretty chilly, they're going to be warm for us. So we're walking down now. Our room is so, so messy. I really need to clean it up, but I mean, it's fine. We're on vacation. This is the bikini that I'm wearing. It is from Aerie and I'll be linking it down below if you want it. I think it's really cute and it's really flattering since it has like this V cut right here. Good morning. It's really bright out here. Super bright. But we're eating breakfast at the diner place that we ate lunch yesterday. Will wanted to come back here so here we are. Let's try the breakfast out. They had a pretty great breakfast meal. So. so here we are at this cute little diner. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just got back from breakfast and we're about to go hiking in the National Forest. But we're really excited. We have someone coming with us to kind of give us like a tour of it, like where we know where we're gonna go. And then also get some pictures of us hiking, doing our thing, you know, big hiker people. Doing athletic stuff, <laughs> pretty much.
So we decided that we were going to eat some pizza because I said I wanted pizza. So we got mellow mushroom and it looks so good. Yeah. So now we are literally laying in bed, just watching The Secret Life of an American Teenager, relaxing. We couldn't get tickets to the Titanic Museum today, so we're going tomorrow instead. So yeah, we're just sitting here relaxing. Our tickets aren't until eight. So I mean, it's four o'clock now, so we have four hours just to like relax, spend some time together and watch some TV. So we're about to be grubbing down on this pizza really good after all that hiking I did earlier today, you know? Yeah, you know, when I was out here, I will say I was very impressed. I mean, it was a pretty good incline on the hike and I really thought she was going to need a break because my calves were on fire. So I was just waiting for her to ask for a break and she never did. She grinded it out. I wasn't going to be the one asking for a break. And I respect that. That's how I was raised. <laughs> Good evening. Will and I have been all rested up. We watched some really great TV shows. We made some chocolate covered strawberries to enjoy later on tonight. We are getting in the car because we are heading out to our next dinner show, which is the Pirate's Voyage or like the Pirate Dinner Show. It's about a pirate. It's about a pirate and some mermaids. So we're really excited. And my dress tonight again is from Pink and Proper Boutique. Um, we just took some pictures in it outside and now we are heading out to go to dinner. 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 How cute. Should be fun. We have made it to Pirate's Voyage and we're so close to the little Ferris wheel that we were on yesterday. Up in the stars, that's where you are. Up in the stars. Good morning. It's Saturday and we're going to go ride some horses. I'm so excited. She has always wanted to be a cowgirl. I know, I woke him up, I was like, we get to be cowgirls in Cowboys today. Wake up. But yeah, we're going to JL Ranch. We're really excited. Dollywood sign is right behind us. But yeah, we're going to go ride some horses and I'm so excited. It's gonna be like the Hannah Montana movie. <laughs> So we went back to our room after eating brunch and we took a nap because we were so tired after waking up this morning going horseback riding. But now we are here and we are going to go to the Titanic Museum. And this has to be the thing I'm looking forward to most while we're here. I think it's going to be really, really fun. <laughs> We just got done at the Titanic Museum. We weren't allowed to film anything inside of there for copyright reasons, but it was so cool. It was literally the coolest thing. Like, I love that museum. I do too. What was your favorite part about it? Mine either had to be like the iceberg that we got to touch. Like it was legit an iceberg. Mine was the like, all the actual like artifacts they got off the ship. Like, yeah, the that was violin impressive. was so cool. Oh, the violin was cool. I also like the grand staircase. That was so cool. Yes, it was. That was so, and then they had like the first class little hallway that you got to walk down. Yeah, they said don't video or nothing like that. I got the video of the staircase. I'm waiting. Well! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got something from the gift shop. Okay. Look at this piggy. I love it so much. It's a little Titanic piggy. Isn't I got us a pop saw. Yeah, he broke his pop socket right before we came here. Or no, the no, case? I broke the uh, case, yeah. An otter box just sent me this new case, but I had no pop socket. And I was really upset because I had an awesome, yeah, all from Tiger pop socket, and I had to take it off. Ew. Anyways, I got my pig. He got his pop socket. I may or may not be trying to convince Will to go to Starbucks now. Oh. Yeah. So, anyways, we are now leaving the beautiful Titanic to go to Starbucks. Oh. Yeah. You convinced me? Yeah. Okay. Starby's time. We got the brown sugar shaken espresso with vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top. Yeah, I didn't know it tastes like I had one, but I just, I'm trusting more. Yeah, always trust me on Starby's orders. Really good all the time. We are in downtown Gatlinburg right now, and it's so cute out here. We got here about like an hour before our reservation, so we're just walking around, seeing what's out here. Yeah, just exploring the city. Exploring yeah. the city of Gatlinburg. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And then the melting pot looks so, so cute. Yeah, so we're does. really excited. This eat there again. To eat there again? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's two restaurants in one and the melting pot's on top. We Pretty think. Cool. And well, then, like, the think. bottom is we'll, like Fridays? Fridays, yeah. We'll figure yeah. it out once we get in. But it looks like the melting pot's the second story, you know, it's all glass windows. Looks, really cool. looks like a good melting pot. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey guys, it is now Monday. Yesterday, Will and I drove back from Pigeon Forge all the way to Alabama, and it was actually a really nice drive. It was a lot shorter than whenever we drove up there just because we made so many stops whenever we were going up there. And it was just really, really nice to be back home and be back in like our own bed and everything last night. But we had such an amazing time in Pigeon Forge. Like it was such an amazing experience. So like we kept saying like the whole entire week that this was definitely like a trip of a lifetime. We got to show y'all so much of the things that we did and it was just a lot, a lot of fun. I wanted to go ahead and end out the vlog here because I know that this is going to be a pretty lengthy vlog already. Along with this travel vlog, I of course will be posting content pictures that I got in Pigeon Forge on my Instagram. And I'm also trying to blog a little bit more. So I do have a blog. So this will be live on the whimsymagnolia.com. That is my blog name. And I'm going to be doing kind of like a tour guide, kind of like your ultimate guide to visiting Pigeon Forge or that area of Tennessee. But I love y'all so much. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to join the family and click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye!